Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be going through another box of pennies. As you can see, I got a $25 box in front of me, and what we are going to be searching for is Wheat Cents, Indian Head Pennies, Aries and Variety Pennies, Bicentennials, 2009s, any really cool coins we can find that are in nice shape, and stuff like that. So, hopefully we find some good stuff, and I already checked the rolls, and I didn't see any enters, so hopefully there's some stuff in between each end. Let's get on to the hunt. Alright guys, very first roll. Looks like we actually got a wheat cent. Here it is. Looks like it's a 1952D. Very cool. First roll, first weedy. Hopefully, weedies keep rolling in like this. Very cool. If you guys are wondering why I'm so quiet, it's because everyone's asleep right now. It's like 1 a.m. I'll probably finish this box up tomorrow and I'll be louder. Sorry about that. And there's a 1956 D wheat penny, or second wheat penny on our third roll. So that's a pretty good find right there. Keep on hunting. Wow, guys, fourth roll and another wheat penny just popped out. Lighting's really dark here. This one looks like it's a 1957D, possibly a metal detecting find. So that's our third weighty and four rolls of wheat pennies, or four rolls of pennies. It's very awesome. Let's see if we can find anything else. Alright guys, so two rolls later, looks like we got another wheat penny. This one also doesn't look terribly old, but it looks like it could be 40s. Nope, 1952 D. It's in the 50s like all the other wheat pennies we've had have been. I'll take it though, it's a nice 20 right there. Let's keep on finding wheats. Alright guys, look right here. Got a weedy. Alright, so here's our wheat penny. Let's pick it up. See what it is. Looks like it could be an older one, possibly one before 1940. Nope, just a 1946 D. That was right. I'll take it. Alright guys, two rolls later, looks like we have another wheat penny, this one's probably another newer one it looks like, probably late 1940s, early 1950s I'd say, 1944, very cool, I'll take it. Alright guys, looks like we got another wheat penny. We're in the 15th roll of the box. Or actually, is it 15th? No, it's more like 25th roll in the box. And we got our next wheat penny. And I already saw the year in this one. It's 1951. It's very cool. So far in the box, we have six wheat pennies. Actually, I take that back. We have seven wheat pennies. And we have lots of rolls to go still. Let's keep on hunting. Alright guys. I'm in the 20... 26th roll, and right here, 
Looks like we got another weedy. This one's another one of those questionable ones that look like they could be older. Possibly. This one looks like it could break the 30s. Probably be before 1940. See what it is. Nope, just another 1944. I'll take it though. We got eight Wheaties in the box, and we're only about halfway through. Very nice. Let's keep on hunting. All right, guys, we're on roll 28, and looks like we got another Wheatie. This one's actually pretty nice looking. See, it's still got some luster on it. It's also got some nice toning as well. Very cool. Let's see what the year is. 1951D. Very nice. Look at that nice toning it's got on it. Very pretty coin. Nice. So that gives us nine wheat pennies in the box. It's turning out to be a pretty good box. I still got plenty of the box to go. So hopefully we find some more Wheaties and some more good finds. Let's keep on hunting, guys. Alright guys, we're on our 36th roll of the box, and looks like we've got another wheat penny. Very cool. Oops. Looks like the year is 1956. I'll take it. So that brings us to 10 wheat pennies in the box. And we still have over 16 rolls to go. Very cool. Hopefully this box keeps up, and I'll get back to you guys once we get on to some more treasure. No way, guys. Holy cow. We just found an Indian head penny. Holy crap, guys. I cannot believe this. I've been doing really good unboxes lately. First a 1909 penny, then an 1895 V-nickel, then a freaking 1939D buff or uh, Jefferson nickel key date. And now, guys, look what we found. Holy cow, I think I hit the old coin pocket in terms of uh, bank boxes of coins. We just got our second Indian head penny ever, guys. Wow, that is amazing. As you can see, it's in 1905. It's in pretty nice shape. There's the wreath in the back, one cent. Get a nicer close up. You guys, very cool. Wow, guys, my second Indian head penny ever. What a great week it's been, guys. All right, guys, looks like we got another wheat penny. I already saw the year on this one. This one is 1944. Nice. That gives us 11 wheat pennies in the box, guys. Wow, we are doing great today. 11 wheats in an Indian head. Awesome. Let's keep on hunting. All right, guys, so we're on the second to last roll. And it looks like we got another wheat penny. Sadly, though, it's right next to a 1959. It's kind of sad, but next to the 1959 is a 1958 D wheat penny. Very cool. I'll take it. All right, guys, now we're into the wrap-up of that penny hunt. So let's see what our finds were. So first we got our toned coins. Then we get a flashlight so I can show there you. There we go. So here I'm just gonna show you them real fast. Some of them are really nice. Look at this 1994. It's got some gold and pink toning on it. Very cool coin. 
can't really see the toning in that one real well on camera. These ones all really have nice toning. This one's also got some nice rainbow purple toning up here. I don't know, the camera kind of hides it, but uh, I trust Next me, it's up, we have the Canadians. We had four of them. None of them are real old. They're all 80s and 90s Canadians, except that one that's 1974. But yeah, they're all um, just Canadian pennies. Nothing too special. Here's our 2009s we got. And we got some much higher grade ones in this box, which I'm really happy about considering nearly all of the ones I find look like this or like this. Anyways, though, we got three early years. We got one professional years and a presidency. And the really unusual thing was that there weren't any formative year 2009s in this box unless I missed one somehow, which is possible because I've missed them before. But anyways, let's get on to our uncirculates. We got just two shinies right there, 2019 and 2006. I probably won't do anything with those. I just wanted to show you guys. And uh, here's the... A 1981 that I just pulled out because it was really nice. Kind of. Kind of really nice. <laughs> and here's our uncirculated 1970s. We've got a nice toned 1970S. Fortunately, it's got a little bit of a marking right there. 1970D. 1972. 1972. 1974D. And a 1975. Now for the 60s, we've got a really toned 1960D. No idea if it's a small date or not. It might be, actually. Can't really tell. And then we've got a really, really nice gem. 1959 D mint mark. How nice a shape that's in. Now, for our wheats. So, in terms of wheats in this box, we got 12 wheats, which is really good, considering my average box is usually only about I'd say about five to seven wheats. Anyways, let's see what the years are. So, these are the 50s right here. Got a 1958D, 1957D, two 1956Ds, and a 1952 Ds, 1951, and a pretty decent condition toned 1951D. It's got some nice toning to it. Very purple. Here's the 40s. So for the 40s, we have the 19... 46D and three 1944s. And none of them were before uh, 1940, unfortunately. But that's all right, because we made it up with an Indian head penny. My second one ever. This is the highlight of the box easily. Here's the front, 1905. Gorgeous Indian head penny. A little bit worn, but it's still got very nice eye appeal to it. 115 or 114 year old coin will absolutely take that any day in any box of coins even if it's the only um, good coin in the box I will take it so all in all guys this box was a very nice box we got lots of wheats and lots of dozen nines and Indian head penny that's all you can really ask for right there and um, I hope you guys enjoyed that hunt I sure did and if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to comment them down below, as I will always respond to all, any of them, like even if it's on a three-year-old video that I made or something. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.